So for this beautiful feather fan DIY, you guys are going to be needing scissors, um, a fan that I got from the Dollar Tree or anywhere you can get it from. You're also going to be needing a glue gun and glue sticks. Get a bag. <laughs> You're going to be needing six bags of feathers. I got these from Joann's while they're on sale. I also, you will also need a wire cutter. You will also need trim at least six feet long. Um, so I'm starting with the outer side of the fan first so I'm putting the glue on the outer side of the fan bit by bit so it doesn't dry up and then I lay the feather I do longer feathers at the top and then go shorter when I get to the white area of the fan so yeah I'm just gonna do the whole outer layer speed this up wrap it up wrap it up <laughs> Um, and so we're just gonna do that as you can see it's really simple we're just putting glue on the material from the fan we're gonna use the wire cut uh, yeah we're gonna use the wire cutters to cut the bottom area of the fan that's like sticking out <sighs> sorry we're gonna use the wire cutters to first cut the little piece of uh, the little feather cartilage <laughs> off the fan and we're gonna put that um, on at the lowest part like I said we're going from longest to shortest so we're gonna start using those little raggedy little short feathers that were in the pile that I didn't want to use for the top um, because if you use longer ones for the top it makes it look fuller so just cut it and come off come on get off <laughs> Ah, why are you giving me trouble? Okay, <laughs> now we take that off. It's gonna be a bit loose, but you just take your glue. Please use a popsicle stick or some sort to lay it down because I burnt my hand a lot through this process from the hot glue gun. Um, but yeah, so we'll speed this up too. And if you have any questions, please put it down below. I know this is not the best tutorial, but I'm, I'm trying to do the best with my explanation. So, that was the side I completed beforehand um, and now that you see like the bottom's pretty loose because it's not sticking together um, but what we're gonna do next now is cut the plastic at the bottom with the wire cutters um, and basically try to get a straight line going um, with the bottom with the bottom plastic that which is usually where you would hold the fan so trying to show you but I don't think this is the best ability but it doesn't have to be clean because we're gonna wrap it back up with trim anyways so now that we already cut the pieces off I'm uh, cut the extended pieces off I'm gonna try to glue it together so purpose is to try to get the glue to hold all the plastic pieces together the same way a fan would usually um, open up so yeah I'm holding it together just to make sure the plastic stays together and you could also put the hot glue in between. So as you can see now I'm taking a trim and I'm going to basically just feel around how long I want it to be and then I'll cut the trim with the scissors um, to get it to the length that I want and I'll glue it down here. Cut it off when I was like okay this is enough. So you just cover it. Well, you lay your glue down, of course, as you can see, I've learned myself, so yes, use another glue stick or use a popsicle stick to help you lay this trim down. So yeah, I finished that one side, and then we're gonna go back and do the other side once we are completed with this side. So I'm basically showing you guys how to layer it here. Uh, this is where, like, you know, you could do any pattern you want. You could do one on top of the other or in between, like how I'm laying it here. Uh, but again, you're gonna need your glue, your glue gun for this, and you know, line it to where you want. And you can cut more later. It, you do not. You could cut longer for now and wrap it to the back if you'd like. But what I'm doing here is cutting exact to the end. Not exact, but I do do um, a bit longer so I can fold it to the back as you can see here
So like I said earlier, I will fold over the excess um, trim I have onto the other side, just glue it in, bam, right there. So when I do um, start on the other side, it'll be a good way to, a good place to start and not use excess trim again. So now that you kind of get the pattern, I'm just going to complete the rest of the trim here. Um, and of course you, you cut shorter length trim as you go lower so you don't waste your trim. And as you can see, I start um, putting hot glue on the top of the trim to lay it flat. You do not have to do that, but I did that so it would look neater and it wouldn't just keep flopping everywhere as I moved or like um, fanned myself with the <laughs> and here at the very bottom you're gonna want to like um, this is where I will also you know line the trim there but I do um, like want to be a bit neater here because this is where you'll see so here I um, put half of my trim uh, like two two little triangles of my trim and put half of it on the other side and the other remaining tip at the on this side and I flip it up like how you just saw so it's a bit more neater and I can cover it over um, with trim when I do the other side I hope this is all making sense um, if you do have any other questions please just comment I'm definitely willing to help but I hope you I hope this did actually help in some way um, <clears throat> So like I did to the other side, I'm going to start the trim where um, the excess trim I folded over um, starts, I mean well ends, where that trim ends I'm going to start the new trim on this other side. So it continues on and I don't waste, um, I don't waste trim on this side.
as you can see now I am done with both sides of the fan um, make sure you definitely cut off all your excess and it's really turned out bigger than what I thought it would so starting at the very end of the fan fabric um, to start gluing your long feathers really makes a difference so if you go lower you can make a shorter fan but if you really want something big like this by the way I'm 5'2 so that fan is like my upper body <laughs> so it's really big and really beautiful I really hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe do whatever leave a comment ask a question I'm here to help and have a wonderful day bye